connect. We, we have a special guest here today. Okay? And as the guys that went to the Eastern Region ID camp, those that had been really engaged, um, we introduced a new tool for you to use as you go through your football journey. And that was to start using Purple Shift. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring on the creator of Purple Shift today, um, just to help you give some understanding of why he created it and two, how it can be an effective tool for you in the recruiting process, right? So we have Micah Alway here today. Uh, so just to give you a little background on, on Micah, he is a Texas Tech alum, he's an NFL alum, he's a CFL alum, and he's prepping. So again, he's been in your shoes. He's, he's played at that next level, at the highest level. So he really wanted to um, provide a tool to help you along the journey. So what I would love to do is bring him up here. Micah, I saw you in the, I saw your name on there. You here, brother? Yep, I'm right here. Nice. Okay. So uh, folks, can we uh, show Micah a little love? Show him some Timo love. Give a little Micah, show him his money. Either drop in the chat or show him there. And he's going to, Micah, they're going to show you some love, brother. I like that. Might, need, might be a new Sully next year. <laughs> do that. I like that. Yeah, that's a Sully. <laughs> and, and what Micah is going to do is one, he, he's going to show with you how to actually use it, how to most effectively use it. Because really Purple Shift, think of it like in grade 10, you take careers. Think of this as a tool to help you build your resume for football, right? As an athlete right? It, it's to help you um, really empower you in this process. So he wanted to kind of show you exactly how to use it. For the guys that are going to the Central in Toronto or the London St. Thomas ID camp, we would like to sort of have you use the tool to get your height and weight done pre- the reason being, it allows our coaches more flexibility to be able to actually spend that time on field. So I will turn it over to Micah. Micah, you good with me making you the host, brother? Yep, yep, that'd be perfect. Okay, so I will turn it over to you. You got uh, about 20 minutes, brother, so it's, the floor is all yours. All right. Maybe if we have some time, Micah, are you good too if we finish up early? Maybe they have some questions. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to finish up early so y'all can ask me some questions. Okay. Um, so um, Mike Alway, obviously, uh, JT just said, you know, I played for the Ottawa Red Blacks this last season. Um, right now, I actually, just so y'all know, I actually forego like the CFL free agency because I'm going to try to get an NFL opportunity. And if that doesn't happen, I'm going to come back in the CFL, play angry, and get a couple more big hits, get people met angry this and that so that's kind of where I'm at in my career right now so put remember like everything that's going on with y'all right now the same thing happens when you're a pro so so I'm really in the same boat as y'all trying to get to the the next level or trying to continue my career so everything's all the same now I'm gonna go into not purple shift right away but why I made purple shift because I promise you if I had this tool when I was like coming up I probably would have went to Alabama or even or even like just have way more power five schools because it would have gave me just it, it would have just made me an obvious athlete you know like everyone would have known like okay this guy is incredible so that's what the app was made for so now the main story on why i make this app and again it's it's going to happen to you several times in your career as you go forward but basically um so as jt said i was on tampa bay so after the draft i didn't get i didn't didn't get any calls um, I had to wait about three weeks um, after the draft and um, I had to go to class the next day in Texas Tech and everyone's kind of looking at you like, oh, you didn't get drafted. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing, but at the same time, it's like, is it really? Not really. So um, three weeks later, I get this call and my agent's like, hey, I got you a rookie mini camp spot um, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And just so y'all realize what that is, is it's, it's a camp, it's ID camp in a way where 90 guys come. Um, and basically the 90 guys who get invited, you're just there to give the rest of the first round picks. Like all the guys they just picked the day before, you're just there for them. You're, you're not really there to make the team. You're just there so they don't catch a cramp. So that's what you come in for. But um, fortunately I came in, I was third string will linebacker 
And then on the second day, I played so well, they moved me to first string. And then on the third day, you know, they called me over and they're like, hey, Micah, we're going to um, we're going to sign you. And they end up actually cutting the first string well linebacker who just got fifteen thousand dollars three days before. So, again, you guys got to realize these are real life stories and you're talking about an ID camp. It's the same thing. So I just took this guy's spot, but then skip all the way down. I had preseason game, you know, injured Carson Wentz. <laughs> Where is he at now? Anyways, um, injured Carson Wentz, did all this. And actually, that's when I first kind of learned about the CFLs when Carson Wentz, I fractured his ribs and, you know, the CFL called, I think it was like BC and Saskatchewan or something like that. And that's the first time I ever heard about the CFL. And then I was like, oh, well, let's just wait a little bit. And then I actually end up getting on practice squad with Tampa Bay. And this is where the reason why I made um, purple shift is when I was sitting there, I was getting cut in the Grim Reapers room. That's, that's what they call them, the Grim Reaper, um, Shelton Quarles. And as I'm getting cut, I'm kind of looking at like my last hoorah looking around the room and I see this big flat screen TV and it has the offense and defense, you know, I'm on defense and Levante David, you know, future Hall of Famer, all that first string will. And then I'm third string and all they had were our names and our 40 times. So r realize that <laughs> Levante David's a future Hall of Famer. He graduated from college in 2012. It was 2016 or 2017 or whatever. And they only had their name, our names in our 40 times. So you got to realize at the NFL level, that's how important those times are. It's what it is. It's your SAT score. I, I don't, it doesn't matter how I cut, you, cut it. I mean, it's just, it, it is what it is. It's your SAT score. If you want to go to Harvard, you need a high SAT score, right? I think everyone can agree with that. It's the same thing with university football. It's the same thing with pro football. You need a good SAT score. And if you're not the fastest, then you need something else that's going to set you apart. So, and, and, and not just set you apart, you have to be like special in it. If you're not, you know, if you're a 4'8 linebacker, you better be the smartest linebacker like the world has ever seen. Otherwise, there's kind of like a sliding scale, you know, four, six. Now you don't have to be a smart four, four. And now you don't really do have to be smart at all kind of thing. Um, but that's the reason why I made purple shift, because at my pro day, um, there was no lasers in sight. Um, at, and I did it at Texas Tech. We had like 30 scouts there and they got me at a four point six seven. Now, if you watch my film, if you know who I am. I promise you, I'm not a 4.67. Uh, Jordan Davis, that D lineman who's from Georgia, 6'4", 341, ran a 4.78. There's no way he's just a couple steps slower than me. J just think about that. But getting it um, verified with Purple Ship, I actually ran a 4.41. So, you know, a linebacker 6'2", 220, run a 4.41 versus linebacker 6'2", 220, run a 4.67. That's drafted, and that's, like, potentially first round. So... That's what this app is for. This app is just the SAT of sports. All we do is, all you do is you record yourself, height, weight, 40, 30, 20, 10 yard dash, 5, 10, 5, broad jump vertical, and we get you, give you your SAT score. That's basically all it is. So that way now, when you go out in the recruiting trail, you don't have to tell a coach I run a 4, 5, and he's like, oh, really? Come to our camp. No, it's like, no, no, no. I'm purple shift verified. This is a four or five. It's legit. And now it works for both sides. The coaches don't have to waste time with people who are lying because just just be real. There's a lot of liars out there. But then at the same time for y'all, if you run a good time, you will be noticed. So basically, what is the what, what happens? It comes down to you. All the control comes back to you. All you got to do is train hard, jump fast, run fast, be smart. And now you can put on a purple shift and send it out to all the coaches. And now it's, it's verified. So that's the idea behind purple shift. Um, I can, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. It's super easy. It'll take you two minutes to verify anything, but it's just like Instagram. You kind of like record yourself while you're training and then turn it in later. Um, so uh, I'll get right into it and then kind of show them, then kind of ask y'all if you have any questions. So let me share my screen. All right, can y'all see my screen? You're good, coach. All right, 
cool. So I'll go to the what what page y'all gonna see. So um all you have to do is uh basically go to the app store um and put in purple shift one all one word and you, you guys can start doing this now um if you want to. Um so again, if I were to go to the app store, let me go here, I just go here, let load. And I just put in purple shift. And it's completely free to use, by the way. Um, free to use for the coaches, free to use for athletes. There's literally no cost because I'm a firm believer that like playing football shouldn't cost any money. That I mean, that's really what it comes down to. So this is it. And all you have to do is just download it and then open it. So this is the first page you'll see. You just click sign up and then just go through your emails and all that. I'm not gonna go through all this because it's pretty straightforward, but you just put your email in, put your password, your age and all this. And then basically it'll bring you to this page and this is the login right here. So after you sign up, this is all you have to do. So this will be the page you see, it's called the navigator. And you see that box right there on the very top, it's called get verified. So specifically JT um, is requesting you guys get verified for your height and weight. So as you can see, the first thing you would do is gonna choose the test or challenge that you wanna get verified for. So go ahead and choose, um, height and if you choose height um you'll see an example up on so this is actually richie it. leone from right. um, <laughs> auto red blacks okay. so you can just put a tape ruler on the ground make sure it's touching what is it? the wall or something that's clearly at zero six five and then just show the video just like that that's literally all we need um you can do this in unique ways if you don't have like a buddy to help you you can lay down like this and maybe at the very top, all the you have, your, wall, have a cheat. shoe and put it right. um, flush against okay. your head Tape roller. and then okay. grab your phone that you're recording yourself with and show, show where it? the shoe ends up. Look at that. Hey, you know, just be, you, Six, five? be creative, make it work. But um, that's, that's really all you have to do for getting your height um, verified. Weight is very similar. I mean, it's the same thing. It's uh, really simple. Just like uh, Danny here is doing, just make sure you don't wear any baggy clothes. Show your whole face, your whole body. You can see the scale. And then once the scale shows what it is, you just grab your phone, all one continuous video, and then show what it is. So he's 147 and a half. It's literally that simple. There's, there's, there are no sensors needed, nothing, no money, just a scale and, um, and uh, what do you call it, a tape roller. Um, and then just to, Again, once you do your height and weight, cause you can do this all like right now, if you wanted to, you can also just go ahead and do a vertical jump right here at home. And for the vertical jump, all you would need is an angle just like this. As long as we can see your foot in the video the entire time, that's all we need. And you know, obviously you can't bring your knees up to your chest. You just have to jump straight up and down and then we can actually get your vertical jump without any sensors, or anything needed. And again, this is something you can do today. And vertical jump is one of those tests that can tell you if your your training is working because you you get more and more explosive and your vertical jump is kind of like a correlation to that and then just you know you probably won't have time to do this tonight but you know 40 yard dash this is really all it is um as long as we have an angle of and we can see where you start your feet where you start and a 40 yard dash when you when you're finished that's all we would need or whatever you know 40 10 20 30 whatever you need but um as long as we have an angle similar to this, or we can see your feet and where you finish, that's all we need. And also, it needs to be on a turf turf field that's marked. And if you're not on the turf field that's marked, you're going to have to prove that somehow. So if you have one of those construction um, tape rulers that go out all the way to you know 40 yards, you're going to have to record that whole thing so that we know that this is a legit marking and put the cone there and then do your 40 and all in one video to prove that it's actually 40 yard dash if you don't have a turf, you know, a turf field like this. Um, so again, you can explore the rest of the test. After that, you click, you know, public or private. If you wanna be ranked, click public. And then this is where you upload your video that you already took, or you can take a video right away. And then right here, you put in your height and weight. So if you hadn't signed up, you haven't got verified for your height and weight, this will say predicted height and weight. You can put in whatever you think your height and weight is right now, and you have a week to get it to get verified. So basically, you guys will have already have done your height and weight, so it'll already be verified, and it locks in your tallest height and your um, heaviest weight, or, or your most recent weight. 
Um, and then right here, this is really important for y'all. Um, it's optional for everyone else, but for y'all, it's really not. So as you're getting verified, you can claim a location. And I don't know if y'all remember Pokemon Go, but it's really similar to Pokemon Go in that you can only get those gems if you're right next to them. Well, this is what it is. So all these locations right here are within a mile of me. So what this does is that it helps the coaches that are going to be recruiting you. It helps them to realize where you live. So again, once all these college coaches get on, um, are on purple ship, they're going to realize Ontario has a whole bunch of athletes. They're going to know where you are and people are going to able to recruit you, rec recruit you locally or whatnot. So go ahead and choose a location so that you can start kind of building your own profile and you kind of help each other saying, Hey, this is a hot location for all the athletes. Um, and then you can claim a team and claiming a team is it's pretty, you know, you can make a team. I'm not going to go into this because it's not something y'all need to know right now. But if you made like a U18 team or um, maybe your local um, football team, make a team. And then basically all your athletics that go under that umbrella. If you have a trainer, make them sign up for Purple Shift and you claim them right here as a trainer. And then you can put a, um, a caption right here as an option as well. So once you get verified, it goes to our verification team and then you'll get a notification that you got ranked or you got verified and you can go to your rankings. So the rankings where you can find out basically three main stats. Um, and these three main stats will be, uh, will be your purple shift score, your result, and then um, it'll be your, excuse me, Wi-Fi is slow. And then it'll be a video of what you have. Um, and once this pops up, which is just, slow sorry my wi-fi is struggling out here but anyways as it's coming up um so basically when you get verified you'll get what is called a purple shift score so now this purple shift score what it is it's um and this is a, just an example it's like if you are O lineman who is six six 310 pounds and you run a let's say four nine 40 yard dash and then let's say you're a receiver that's, let's say five to 150 pounds and you run a, um, and you run a four seven. Well, obviously the bigger O lineman is probably more, you know, more athletic, you know, height per height, weight per weight than that receiver is. So that is what your purple shift score um, is. And that purple shift score is basically like your, it's your SAT score that coaches can be able to filter. And I'll just go to the filter right now. So this is everything that they can filter. Again, you're wondering, how can these coaches find me? Well, they can filter by height, weight, the tests, your location, when you took it, um, your athletic status, your sport and your position, your gender, your age, your university, your school, your every, like basically everything that's on this app, they can filter you by. Um, so then I'll go here to the home page. When you sign up, you'll be able to edit your profile. And on this edit your profile, you can choose your sport. You can choose, you know, things like your positions, your, your job, which your job would be, you know, high school football kid. And then you can choose, obviously not university, but school, like your high school. You can put it in if it's not in there already. And then put in stuff like your number and your name and stuff like that. So um, with all that being said, let me see. I'll come back and um, now uh, I guess that's the basis of Purple Shift. Like, like I said, it's super easy. I mean, y'all can download it now and get started on it. Um, it gives you, it gives you all the power. Um, you don't need to hope that a coach sees you. I promise you, <laughs> if you run a four, six, or faster, depending on your, your position, you will be found. And I'm talking about universities across the world, not just in Canada, everywhere. So, and this is gonna also be good for your um, football Ontario team right now, because as they do, do evaluations, if both, let's say you have two linebackers and they both kind of play the same on the field, well, guess what they're gonna go by? They're gonna go by who's faster at that point. They're gonna go by who has more athletic potential. So this is just one, one more thing for you to work on um, and for you to give yourself a chance. And again, I said, give yourself a chance. You're not going to hope. You're not going to 
you know, Brown knows, you can go look that up later. You're, you're going to earn it yourself. Okay. You're going to earn it yourself and you're going to be happy about it. Um, and again, I went through this whole recruiting process coming out of Texas and Texas Tech was my only offer. Yeah, it's a power five school, but it was my only offer. Like realize that if, if I would have got hurt my senior year, that would have been it. No one would ever known who Mike Alway was, but luckily, luckily one coach found my talent and now I'm the only one from that class who's still playing professional football. So you guys got to realize, you know, it's not where you are right now. It's about where you are tomorrow and then the next day and then the next day. Um, and the last thing I'll say about this whole thing, because y'all might be thinking, well, Micah, he's a professional athlete. And, and OK, well, in Texas football, we, that's kind of when everyone starts football um, in school. Um, and that's when I started football. And basically, we had teams, seventh grade team. So we had the A team, we had the B team, then we had the C team, and then we had the D team, like the fourth team. That's how many people who play football in Texas high school and in, in middle school. I was on the D team. Like, so you guys are talking to a D team. So to me, there's no excuse that any of y'all can't be professional or get to where you want to be because I was on the very bottom. Um, so y'all just know that going in is, um, you know, it's, it's all up to you. So I'm going to, now I'm going to kind of leave it out for questions because, um, that's what I'm here for kind of give y'all what I know and how to help y'all move on to um, where you want to be. Does anyone have any questions for Micah? Feel free to drop in the chat if you have any, and I can monitor it. Yeah, Micah, there's a question. How often uh, should we update our results? Um, so for me, again, I'm going to relate everything to me. So I basically what I do is that at least twice a week, I check my 10 yard dash, my vertical and my broad jump. And when I say I check, I mean, I verify it. So that way I know that my training is progressing. And at the very least, you do it once a week. But you, you need to know that because it's not just for getting recruited. It's for yourself. Because let's say, you know, you're jumping. You know, I jumped 10 foot seven on broad day. I'm on pro day. Let's say I'm 10 foot seven one week. Next week, I'm 10 foot seven. And the third week, I'm 10 foot six. Well, that might not mean that your training is going bad. That just might mean you're, you're getting overworked. So you might need to rest a little bit more. So you need to upgrade. You need to update it as much as you can because that's telling you who you are, you know? So again, it's your tool, it's free to use. Might as well know where you are every day. It's available on Android and um, everything, like on, and on the um, website. So if you go to purpleshiplive.com, um, you can all, also use it on that. Um, um, blowing up, <laughs> go ahead. No. Um... Maybe time for a couple more. So yeah, what what was it like um, hitting uh, Carson Wentz? It it was it was awesome. I, I still remember it like um like yesterday. And uh, just just so y'all know, again, this is something that stays within this room. Okay, so if you watch that play, you'll see that there's a running back to my side, right? Okay, so now I'm going to kind of skip forward in the future. So I hit Carson Wentz, the big hit. We're off the field. Everyone's cheering. I go to the sideline, and my coach, Coach uh, Mark Duffner, I'm running. I'm like, yeah, I'm a, everyone's saying, good job, Micah. And Coach Duffner looks me straight in the eye. Didn't crack a smile, nothing. And he just looks at me and says, the running back. And I was like, Coach, what do you – and I, I thought about it. I was like, oh, it was a, it was a zero blitz, but we, we peel on the running back. Peeling means – you. You take the running back when he goes out. And that's when I realized, ah, that was my man. So I actually, a mistake, because I went 100% and broke Carson Wentz's ribs, that's what coaches mean by go 100% no matter what, don't stop. If I would have stopped and stuttered and went back with the running back, y'all would have never known me. Instead, you know, I went 100%, hit him, and then suddenly the CFL knows me. So this is what coaches mean by just go 100%, make your mistakes at 100%, because that's what got me to be talking to y'all right now. And um, 
before we go on with question, there's one more thing I'd like to show y'all because we're talking about mental. And I remember Aaron and JT just mentioned mental, right? They're, they are not kidding. When, once you get to university, once you get to pros, what sets you apart more than your athleticism is going to be your mental. So I'm going to share my screen and show y'all something that um, that is on Purple Shift, and it will help you immensely and help y'all to win games um, as a province. So if you go to your navigator, and this is something you can do on your own, um, once you go to your navigator, and again, I forgive me because my Wi-Fi is struggling. Close that, come back. So once you go to your navigator, um, you can go to this thing right here called Purple Shift Gamer. Okay, Purple Shift Gamer, what this is, is that it's kind of like a flashcard game, if you will, okay? So you can choose football, and then you can choose defensive coverages, defensive front alignments, or offensive concepts and personnel. So when you do this, basically you swipe left or right on what, what you think the right answer is. And if there's, for example, if there's some, nothing there, you have to choose the skip button. So right here, I have this right in front of me. And right here, does anyone know the coverage? I don't know if y'all know this, but this is actually two man. So I'll, I'll swipe left and I'll get points based on that. So I got zero points because I was too slow. We also have clips in here. And basically you have to choose whatever you think it is. So this is a cover zero blitz. And then you swipe there. And it, that this is basically, you guys will learn football and I'm sure your coaches will love this because you'll learn how to read offenses. You'll learn how to read defenses, alignments, everything. This is something that I'm still working on as a pro athlete. And this is the mental game that I'm talking about that will set you apart. Because if you know what cover six is before you get into university, I promise you that will give you an advantage. Um, I'll come back. Sorry. So I wanted to show you all that real quick because that's something y'all should just be playing. And okay. The purple. So he said, what is the purple shift score? So again, the purple shift score, and let me see if it'll come up because it looks like it was struggling before. I'll switch my screen and answer your question if it comes up. Yep, it did. So here, I'll share my screen. We'll quickly show you what the purple shift score is. So folks, this will be last question from Micah. So right here, um, if you look at this, this is the ranking board for the vertical jump. Um, so right now for vertical jump, purple shift is ranked number two, that's me. Um, so I jumped a 37.9 inch vertical. So that 95.69, purple shift score it's based on my height and my weight so i'm six foot 224 and a half and i jumped a 37.9 inch vertical and that's my score so essentially what this is is you know the heavier you are you know if you're an o-lineman and you jump a 37.9 well guess what you're going to break this you're going to break this whole algorithm i'm going to have to change it because i mean wow if you jump 37.9 and you're 300 pounds that's incredible. So that's what that is. And what you can do is that you can go here and kind of look at what everyone's score is because that score will tell you, um, basically you can look at my score and say, okay, that's a professional athlete. That's the SAT score for vertical jump for a professional athlete, 95.69. And then you can look at yourself and say, where am I at? Um, and then you can watch the video if you don't believe it and then um, kind of see the video from there. So um, that is what a purple shift score is. Okay. Come back. Yep. Okay. So thank you, Micah, for, for coming on here, brother. Again, appreciate you sharing your story. And if anyone wants to connect with Micah, you can follow him all, all on social at Purple Shift. They're on Instagram. They're on Twitter. Feel free to connect with him and we'll go from there. So can we just, again, show uh, Coach some love, okay, money. By the way, Coach, I saw Coach Conway Crack a big smile when he said the play was broken up and you just finished the play anyways. I saw him. I saw his <laughs> linebacker heart. Really loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Thank you all. Okay. So thank you. Uh, so here is where.